<laughs> yeah, it's been fun. We've, we've enjoyed not just seeing the animals, but the, the people who are working with the animals. You get a, in, you get a, a look inside how they spend their days. Yes. And we forget sometimes in Louisville, we're, we're on an island when it comes to the entire agricultural part of the state. We don't see it mm -hmm. as often as we'd like. So that's why it's so fascinating to be out here this morning. Yeah, it's been nice to talk to a few people too that say, hey, we wake up with you guys every morning from all over our yeah. region. It's really cool. I just love that experience. So we've got this anticipation, although we're seeing all this right now. The game Gates are not open. That's going to happen in a matter of hours, and that will be when the Kentucky State Fair is officially open to everybody. Yeah, and those officials are telling us that things are going to look a lot different here this year. Spokesperson Ian Cox with the Kentucky State Fair says that they've added events like the beer and Latin music festivals. The Kentucky Expo Center is also going to look slightly different than years prior. Crews spent the day Wednesday putting up some new signs and new fixtures. But don't worry, you're still going to see some of your favorites. Vendor Thomas Hudson has been part of the fair for the last 60 years. We try to do the same setup and every year, and we like for our customers to come back and recognize us and recognize our cups. And it becomes a tradition, you know, it's just like the fair is. Family after family after family, year after year after year, you know, come out to the fair. And um, we see a lot of the same customers every year, which really makes us feel good. You're going to have 10 days to soak up all the fun. The fair runs until Sunday, August 27th. So as you'd imagine, tickets are available for this online. They're $10 and that includes parking. That really is going to be your best deal because you can, of course, buy tickets at the gate for that same $10 price, but then you will need to pay for parking separately. Parents, we've got a reminder specifically for you. There is a minor attendance policy in effect for the fair. Chaperones have been required, as you'll remember, since 2019, but an incident last year prompted some changes. So now anyone under the age of 18 must be accompanied by an adult 21 or older. Fair staffers will check your ID at the gate. Now, if a child is found misbehaving, they'll check IDs again. If no adult can be found, the kid will be taken to the Lost Children's Center. And the Kentucky State Fair stepping up with a special discount for JCPS families following their short time at school because of the transportation disaster. So for today only, each parent or guardian can get up to two JCPS students in for free. Adults must pay for their own admission. This deal only lasts from the time the gates open at 10 until 2 p.m. today. The Thrillville, so that's like all the fun rides that are set up outside, is also offering buy one, get one all day ride wristbands for JCPS families. That part of the fair gets going at 3 o'clock. 3 o'clock. So, Jim, just to give you a quick lay of the land, we're in the south wing here. We're just off of the milking parlor in what I've named the, the bovine boudoir. So we've got all of these show animals right behind us, mostly cows today. Female cows, as we now know Heifers. to be true. Heifers. Again, Jim, this is the only time we can use the word heifer and not be slapped in the face. It's a great day for you, Eric, isn't it? Just being it's able a great to day. expand your vocabulary in more ways than one. You guys are having a great day out there. We'll be back to see more of the State Fair here in just a couple of minutes.